With a new vaccine soon to be reviewed by the FDA, there are finally some positive trends to report about the pandemic. The number of vaccines given up each day and every day, while the new number of cases of coronavirus is dropping week after week. The past week, more than 9 million COVID-19 vaccines were administered in the U.S. That outpaced the number of new COVID cases 10 to 1. And in the last two days, the number of people hospitalized came under 90,000 for the first time since late November. Despite these positive trends, health officials are warning us not to let our guards down. A third vaccine made by Johnson and Johnson could help increase supply, but the U.S. Food and Drug Administration Advisory Committee isn't scheduled to discuss it until February 26th. A statewide effort pushing for universal health care has made its way to Monterey County. Health advocates held a caravan in Salinas to raise awareness for their fight as the pandemic continues. KION's Jocelyn Ortega has the story. The advocates out here today say this effort is to push for legislators to pass a nationwide plan to give easier access to health care at low costs. On Saturday, activists and nurses caravaned through the streets of Salinas in an effort to bring awareness to the need for health care to some of the most vulnerable. These advocates who are working with the California Nurses Association say at least 2.7 million Californians are currently without health insurance. A Monterey County board member in attendance says a portion of that comes from a large number of people who are uninsured in Monterey County. Without access to a primary care doctor, without access to quality, affordable health care, people are suffering and we're really seeing that um, with COVID. With concern for many who may not be eligible or able to afford health care, these advocates are trying to send a message to pass CalCare, California Guaranteed Health Care for All, on a national level. Yet achieving this may not be easy. Well, I think some people probably think that, you know, it's your responsibility. You should be, you know, fending for yourself and being independent. Or uh, maybe some people don't want to pay if they think their taxes are going to increase. But I think it really is a benefit to everybody. Still, local advocates say protecting the most vulnerable in Monterey County is more important now than ever. The nurses and advocates also included offices of people like Congressman Jimmy Panetta and State Senator Anna Caballero in their route to make their voices heard. These nurses and advocates say they still have a long way to go. They say they will continue pushing for change in health care in hopes that it happens soon. In Salinas, Jocelyn Ortega, KIO News Channel 546.